Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at System Center 2012 Service Pack 1 Orchestrator. Orchestrator is a uh, management tool for IT departments and business uh, units to automate processes to streamline uh, the efficiency with which their business can operate. Um, so today we're going to be looking at uh, very briefly the architecture of Orchestrator and uh, then we'll take a look at uh, creating a, a test runbook uh, in a future module. But for now, let's just get started looking at the architecture and the tools. Uh, so at the core of the application is a SQL Server database. Um, it's just called Orchestrator. Uh, it's a pretty simple database. Um, we don't have a ton of tables. Um, there's some tables in here that kind of uh, encapsulate some of the functionality and integration packs that are add-ons to Orchestrator. Uh, so not all the ones that you see here are necessarily built into the database. Um, but yeah, it's a simple database at the core of the application. If we go look at our orchestrator server, uh, we have a couple of architectural components involved. Uh, first of all, we have what's called a management server. And uh, the management server is where most of the um, operations take place, such as deploying runbook servers and deploying runbook designers, importing integration packs, again, which are add-ons to orchestrator functionality, and uh, so on. Uh, the only other two components that we need to worry about right now are the orchestration console, which is a IIS website that is a Silverlight application. Uh, you simply launch from your web browser, and that allows you to execute runbooks inside of Orchestrator, uh, view summary data about the execution status of runbooks, and um, kind of view the details of, of runbook execution. Uh, we also have the System Center 2012 Orchestrator web service, which is another IIS website, and that is a .NET um, web service that allows you to call runbooks from external applications. So those are the architectural pieces of it. I will point out that the orchestration console runs on port 82. Uh, the orchestration web service runs on port 81, I believe. Actually, I'm sorry, I have that backwards. The orchestration web service is on 82. The orchestration console is on 82 as well, apparently. My bad. I thought both of I thought one was on uh, 81. Oh yeah, it is. Cool. So yeah, the web service is on port 81, and the console is on port 82. Um, the runbook designer is the utility that we use to design runbooks. Pretty self-explanatory, right? And you always want to run the runbook designer as administrator. Uh, if you don't do that, you'll probably quickly find out why you need to, uh, but just kind of keep that in mind right now. So the runbook designer allows us to create folders of runbooks, create runbooks underneath those folders, um, and you can create computer groups, uh, you can view runbook servers, and you can create global counters, variables, and schedules, uh, which can all be used inside of your runbooks. Uh, the other utility we have is the deployment manager. Uh, which we were looking at just earlier. The three major functions of the deployment manager are registering and deploying integration packs, um, deploying runbook designers, and deploying runbook servers. Uh, if we want to register a new integration pack that we've just downloaded, we can run through the integration pack wizard, select the integration pack, and just finish that wizard. If we want to deploy an integration pack that we've already registered, with the management server, we can deploy the IP by right-clicking on the integration packs node, uh, selecting which ones we want to check off. Um, there's no select all button here, so you just have to manually check off all the ones you want. Uh, hit next, specify the computer that you want to deploy the integration pack to, and click add. And then you can schedule the installation at a future date or simply run it immediately. Um, there should be no harm in just overwriting an integration pack. As you can see, I uh, just did that on my own uh, test box, and there's uh, no issue with doing that. So again, those are the three major functions, integration packs, runbook designers, runbook servers. Uh, I will point out that you can deploy runbook designers by using the MSI package off the media. 
uh, if I have the media mounted here, you can simply open it up, drill down into uh, setup, and then there's a runbook designer MSI package here that you can use uh, if you're deploying them with like System Center Configuration Manager, or you could even deploy them with Orchestrator. Um, I think I already mentioned you need to run run the runbook designer as administrator, otherwise you'll run into permissions problems that'll very much frustrate you when you're designing your runbooks. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for this session. In the next session, we will talk about uh, how to create runbooks and um, kind of some of the design parts behind that. So thanks for watching.